Gravesite mix-up. Tonight, a family is in disbelief after they say a Memphis funeral home buried a stranger where their loved one was supposed to be buried, and they found out when they were supposed to be having the funeral. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Stephanie Skurlock. And I'm Greg Hurst. It turns out a funeral home with problems we told you about in the past. Here's WRG Shea Arthur with the bizarre story and a warning the family has for others. Tonight, the Farr family is in mourning. 96-year-old Thomas Farr died last week. He lived a full life, a World War II veteran, a captain in the Memphis Fire Department, devoting his life to family. Very personal, very nice person. He'd do anything for anybody. Yesterday, the family held his funeral at Forest Hill Funeral Home in Memorial Park East. Dozens of loved ones making the trip to town to pay their final respects. Farr would be buried next to his wife, Nancy. She passed away several years ago. They had been married 63 years. But as the ceremony was about to start, staff shared some alarming news. And he said, well, he said, I got to just tell you the truth now. He said, there's another body in your dad's grave. Yes, you heard right. And somehow or another, they put the wrong body in the wrong grave. The family says staff told them the other body had been put in the plot earlier that day. And because it was covered, they had to get an order from the health department signed from the family of the deceased for it to be exhumed. This shouldn't happen to anybody. I mean, there's really no closure until we know that he's next to our mom. As it turns out, WREG has extensively reported on issues with Forest Hill Funeral Home and Memorial Park East, as well as the company overseeing its Stonemore. Problems like failing to inform families in a timely manner about rats partially eating bodies, as well as leaking body fluids in a mausoleum at the company's Jackson, Tennessee location. While the Farr family hopes for resolution in their father's case, they want to warn others. They don't want any family to have to deal with a similar issue. It's bad enough that it happened, but it wouldn't have been as bad to us if somebody had taken responsibility for what happened instead of trying to pass it off. Shea Arthur, WREG, News Channel 3. Now the family tells us they also feel bad for the other family involved in this mix-up. And, and by the way, when we went to the cemetery today, a man there told us to leave the property and said a representative with its parent company would be sending us a statement. We also reached out to Stonemore a couple of times for an explanation about how this happened, but so far we haven't heard back. The family hopes to have the eldest far buried tomorrow. We'll keep you posted on any updates.